Today is the day that I become a true local. I think it's a requirement that you have mullet when you live on the Alabama Gulf Coast. So I've never had it, and I'm frying it up, and I'm going to try it for the first time with you guys now, and I'm going to become a local, and I'm going to relinquish my tourist card once and for all. But right now, I'm going to show you guys how my day went. Fishing on the spook, top water. It's uh, getting pretty close to high tide. I think it's a bluefish. The way it's fighting. Yes, sir. Nice blue. This is a real nice Alabama bluefish. They don't get real big around here, typically. I've seen some pictures of some monsters, but that's pretty rare. So, you know, a pound, pound and a half bluefish, it's pretty good. We'll get him back, see if we can get another. That bluefish frayed my leader, so I just cut off the portion that was frayed, and I'm retying. This is why I like to tie extra long. I probably started out with about three and a half foot of leader, so I just had to trim off about six inches. This way, hopefully, I won't lose my lure. Slowed down a pretty good bit. Haven't had a bite, bite in a while. So I'm gonna see if I can get on the back side of this sandbar and see if I can find some fish hanging out on that slope. Got something on. I came up for it. What is that? A mangrove. That's pretty cool. He might be keeper size. They gotta be 12. He might be close to it. Let's see, he is about 10, 10 inches. So definitely not 12, but cool. Cool fish, these are really pretty. Little mangrove snapper. Don't catch them too often in the surf. Put them back. There you go, bud. So the fishing has been really slow. So I'm gonna change it up. I'm gonna just keep this jig on here. There's a huge school of mullet that's hanging around right here. And I'm gonna see if I can snag some. I've never had mullet, but I hear a lot of people like it, like it fried. So I'm gonna give it a shot.
I've got our mullet in the refrigerator. I put some milk on it. I do that with all of my fillets. So hopefully that will remove any fishy flavor that there may be with this mullet. I'm a little nervous. The fillets had a lot of red meat in it, so I don't know how it's going to turn out. But I've never had it. I'm going to try it up. But the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to fry it. So I'm going to show you how I fry all of my fish. I've already measured this out, but I've got some white cornmeal and then flour. And I just do one to one. I probably could have used just a quarter cup this time, but I used a half a cup on each of these. I just put that in a little container. And then I also use Zatarain's Creole seasoning. This stuff is awesome with fried fish. This is what sets it off. It tastes so good. So I just put that all in here. And I just kind of feel that out. I don't measure it. So I just load up a bunch of seasoning. It makes it taste awesome. And what I do, I just close up the container and shake it up real good. So now I'm going to put the fillets in the flour and cornmeal mixture. I've let, been letting them soak in some milk and I'm not going to rinse it off. I'm just going to put them straight in. I don't use an egg wash. I prefer not to. It seems to make the fish a little crispier and I like it. And just shake it real good just to get it covered. The grease is hot and it's ready to drop the fillets in. I use a Faberware little deep fryer that I got from Walmart. And I love this thing. I use it all the time. Me and my wife, it's perfect size for just me and my wife. If you have a bigger family, I think they have bigger ones. But I think it was like 30 bucks at Walmart. And I used the crap out of it. So it's awesome. Here are our covered fillets. I'm just going to drop them in the grease and this shouldn't take too long and we'll be eating some fish it looks done i'm going to drop it on the paper towel just let some of that grease run out i think it's a requirement when you live on the alabama gulf coast to eat mullet you're not truly a local until you've had it. So uh, today I'm gonna become a local. Today's my first time. But it looks pretty good. The uh, fillets look look good. They fried up pretty good and I haven't tried any yet. Yeah, I just let it cool off, but it looks okay. If you can see that. There was a lot of red meat, so there is some dark meat on here. So I'm a little nervous about that, but here it goes. Tastes good. Tastes like any other fried fish I've ever had. I'm really surprised because of the dark meat that was in there. I thought it would give it more of a fishy, kind of gamey flavor, but but it didn't. It uh, tastes pretty good. All right. If you are ever just wanting some fish, fry up some mullet. This was absolutely 100% fresh. So I mean, I caught, I snagged this maybe like two hours ago now. So. Uh, I've heard that that's kind of important from the people that have said that they like mullet because you get differing opinions. Some people say it's great. Some people say it's trash, just like with pretty much any other fish out there. But guys, I appreciate you watching. I hope you like the video. If you do like this content, if you do like these videos that I do create, be sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll keep making more. But guys, as always, stay bummy.